The Philippines has taken a major step in strengthening its national defense by constructing its first BrahMos anti-ship missile base facing the South China Sea. This initiative is a significant part of the country's defense modernization program and marks a crucial move to bolster the military capabilities of the Philippines. With the supersonic BrahMos cruise missiles capable of reaching distances up to 290 to 300 kilometers, the Philippines is now better equipped to counter threats over substantial ranges, including disputed areas such as Scarborough Shoal. Philippine Army Chief General Romeo Bronner announced plans to procure more BrahMos systems as well as HIMARS in the coming years. This move underscores the Philippines' commitment to continually enhancing its defense capabilities through modern technology and strategic partnerships. As part of the next phase of its military modernization program, the Philippines plans to further increase its procurement of BrahMos anti-ship missiles. Following the successful acquisition of three BrahMos missile batteries by the Marine Corps, the Philippine Army also intends to acquire this advanced missile system for similar coastal defense missions. By increasing the number of BrahMos missiles, the Philippines aims to strengthen its coastal defense network, thereby protecting its territory and sovereignty more effectively from external threats. With support from allies such as the United States, the Philippines will continue to train and develop its military capabilities to ensure robust national security. Construction of the BrahMos missile base began shortly after the Philippines ordered the missiles from India in 2022. Recent satellite imagery shows that the base is located at a naval installation in western Luzon, facing the South China Sea. The facility includes buildings similar to those at BrahMos bases operated by the Indian Armed Forces, such as a high bay facility for maintenance and testing, and a bunker for missile storage. Although smaller than the Indian bases, the facility is tailored to the capacity of the BrahMos systems purchased by the Philippines, which feature two missiles per launcher compared to three in India. This project is part of the Philippine Navy's shore-based anti-ship missile acquisition project, with a total value of $375 million for three batteries of BrahMos missiles and technical support for their system in the Philippine Marine Corps Coastal Defense Regiment. This project not only enhances military capabilities but also showcases the Philippines' ability to integrate modern technologies. In addition to the base in western Luzon, another potential deployment site for BrahMos is at the headquarters of the 4th Marine Brigade in Camp Cape Bogiador, Burgos, Ilocos Norte. If deployed here, BrahMos missiles could cover most of the Luzon Strait from northern Philippines. The Coastal Defense Regiment has also received land donations from local officials in Lubang and Calayan for coastal defense purposes. Former Philippine Secretary of National Defense Delfin Lorenzana stated, BrahMos missiles will provide deterrence against any attempt to undermine our sovereignty and sovereign rights, especially in the West Philippine Sea. In recent years, the Philippines has collaborated with its only treaty ally, the United States, to train its forces in modern systems and tactics. The U.S. and Philippine Marine Corps have conducted joint exercises to form integrated networks for identifying and striking sea targets using aircraft, artillery, and missile systems. This development highlights the Philippines' determination to defend its territory and uphold its sovereignty. Continued support and efforts towards stronger defense capabilities will be pursued to ensure the nation's security and freedom. According to a source close to the BrahMos program, the Philippine Marine Corps has expressed strong satisfaction with the BrahMos supersonic missile system. This positive feedback extends to the weapon itself as well as the training program and facilities provided by India. In a potential show of force in the region, 
The Philippine Marine Corps is reportedly planning a live fire drill involving the BrahMos system in the coming months. This exercise would demonstrate the Philippines' growing defense capabilities. The live fire exercise will use dedicated training rounds, allowing the Philippine Marine Corps to conduct realistic drills without expending actual missiles. The planned live drills will be closely watched by players in the ASEAN region, 